All right. So. We are... We are getting towards the end of this game, y'all. So I think we literally... I mean, the only other things that we haven't completed in this game. So there is a low drop chance um, for Rydia to collect some of her rare mounts or rare mounts, rare summons. I don't think I want to grind just for that. That seems boring to me. And she has quite a roster. I mean, look at that. She's got four, eight, 12 of them. She's got 12. I think she's good. The bomb is almost impossible to get. And then the other one I think is the cockatrice, which I'm kind of like, yeah. We can always come back someday if we'd like to. But I've saved so many times in this game, I feel like every save slot. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure we're at the point of the game where we're ready to go to the end. You're gonna look into Insight Timer? Awesome. It's so good. Needed to hear that, thank you. I'm also so happy you like her, Kate. Absolutely. That relationship is essential. Doesn't matter what kind of therapy your therapist does, you gotta have that relationship. Got to. We go into the moon. And our whale. <laughs> So where do we need to go? That was Bahamut, right? Actually, I, don't, I, don't, I think we need to go somewhere on the overworld. Right? Hold up. Now I can't remember. FF4 walkthrough. <laughs> this is bad. When you don't play every day <laughs> for every stream, it's like a different game. It's like, what were we doing? Who are we? What is this game? How does this work? I don't remember. Y'all bear with me. I promise. I'm a streamer. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. We did that. Yup. 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 Final dungeon. All I have to do is take down the final dungeon. There are no more missable items. Head to the Crystal Palace and then north of the warp pad. Oh. So we are literally okay. Okay. We got the Excalibur. We got that. Oh, we can pick up some grimoires, which. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to worry about that. So we just need to go to the Lunar castle. So I think I want to level up. I think I'm going to level up just a little bit. Uh, I love my therapist. I've had her for four years. Getting therapy and doing DBT has changed my life. I love DBT, Sarita. Uh, my my personal practice, uh, I am an EMDR therapy therapist. I'm certified in EMDR therapy, but I spend a lot of my time in phase two of that psychotherapy which is called preparation you know and i think dbt dialectic behavior therapy are some excellent skills that i weave right into my practice with doing trauma recovery so love dbt it's so good i'm gonna just turn myself into a human burrito i love that i love that for you blood hunter it's so cute <laughs> You got this effect there? You got this? I hope so. Everyone says it's so hard. I feel like I should level or something. Should I try to get Cecil to 60? Let's go for that. A big CBT fan? Use it with my students. Noise, noise. 
I don't prefer that modality because it usually requires a lot of homework. <laughs> and my folks don't like to do homework. They just don't. Hi, kitty cat. Hello. When I had my first appointment with her, she asked why I wanted to go to therapy, I told her I wanted to figure out why my brain is the way it is. After a while, she diagnosed me with BPD, so it's met all the requirements. Now I don't even qualify for BPD, she said it's in remission. Which is so cool, never thought I'd get that far with it. That's amazing. This music slaps- oh, Bloodhunter, it does. It is one of the reasons I, I just absolutely adore, adore this game. I've honestly, I've never played this until I streamed it. And it is glorious. It is a beautiful masterpiece. So I'm not so scared. These, these battles are going really well. So we're going to go very fast. Minor college students, they're used to it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, the population I serve is fairly complex. And so homework will only create shame cycles. <laughs> Does not work with them. Not compatible. But college students definitely have a little bit more executive function. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to do that. Nice we got the uh, game back. Poor Edge, he does not have the defenses. He's kind of awful. I am not a fan. I'm just really curious to see if I'm going to like Final Fantasy V or Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remasters, because those I've played. These first four are my first experiences. And they've been great. They've been really good games. Alright, go clean. We'll be here if you decide that you need a break. <laughs> Ooh, Rydia just learned death. That's a cool spell. I'll take a break in five minutes. Sounds good. We'll see you when you get back. Oh, Edge is dying. I should feel it now. Look at Rydia right or Rosa. She's got the heals and she's got the damage output. She is a girl boss. She is amazing. Best white mage I've ever encountered in Final Fantasy. She is fabulous. I love Rosa. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they did use the whole rescue the lady trope with her in the game, which I'm not a fan of that trope, but she slaps. Artemis' bow? 
Ooh, look at that. Brings her attack up to 106. It does lower her spirit. What do you have on? So it will lessen her heals. I don't care. Stop for this. Oh, that did not do as good. I wonder why. Mage slang. Oh, because it was a mage slang bow. I see. That's why it was attacking that poor mage. <laughs> That's funny. Cecil is cute in his little paladin outfit. He really is. One of my favorite features as well with the Pixel Remasters is the auto battle feature. So right now I'm not having to do anything, so it makes this grinding a lot faster. Less painful than if you had to like sit here and wait and click and wait and click and wait and click. <laughs> and just kind of let them do their thing. I suppose while I'm grinding, I could give the idea of that. a little more damage on the foot. Alright, let's give you Oven Bow. Why is the Oven Bow? Yeah, where's the Oven Bow? Where's Angel Arrow? Interesting combo. Take a big robot. I don't know how good is the card is it? She just murder herself. An air horn, Emmy, an air horn. So I can add an air horn to the stream, but just know that it's not going to be above a certain level of decibels. So it won't have the effect you're looking for. But I know you're looking for. <laughs> My sound alerts have a limiter on them. They only go as high as, I think, minus five decibels? <laughs> All right, let me add a reminder. Add air horn sound. Air horn. Heck yeah, I am. Tell a dad joke? All right, let me get this battle started. Let's get a dad joke going. Why was the planet Uranus so exciting to the man? Because he was an astronaut.
<laughs> That's a funny one. Cute. Cute, 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 cute. It's PJ. It might on the viewers. Might wake people up. <laughs> it might. Oh, <laughs> uh, why? Why did I do that? I have so many NSFW answers to that, though. I bet you do. You nasty, huh? <laughs> off, Skyen. Go off. Hell yeah. In case you didn't know, Skyen is getting that Yoshi P money. That is fabulous. If you like wholesome vibes, you will like Skyen. Skyen is really, really good at that. More dad jokes. All right. Why did the invisible man turn down the threesome? He just couldn't see himself doing it. <laughs> I'm leaving. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, Blood Hunter. We love you. <laughs> Give you a, a nice good night. We love you. <laughs> we'll not stand for this. Rude, only one enemy? <laughs> Look at you farming those comms, Emmy, like a pro. Alright, one more should get Cecil his level. Holy cow, you have over a thousand comms? Dang. I only have nine. How do you have more comms than me? That's sad. That's sad, Emmy. But I think I have more. Um, okay. Inventory? Is it inventory? I have 39 orchestrian rolls. <laughs> Ooh, we got an Artemis arrow. Probably goes right with this bow, doesn't it? Oh, Bonberry. Again with the community game. All right. Ooh, it's effective against dragons. 131. Look at Rosa. She is the true winner. She is my favorite character in this game right now. Oops. All right, let's go rest up. Yeah, it just picked it randomly somehow. We'll go to the Crystal Palace. All right, but you, oh, we'll leave her. Give her that arrow. Uh, let's switch. We need to go back to the Crystal Palace, but I think in order to get there, we have to go the long way. There's no quick shortcut there. Unfortunate. What do I have for items, actually? I probably should go get some items. Huh? Let's go waste our gill on some items over here before we do that. I don't think I have anything else to buy in the game. Not that I know of. I better not quote that. Is there anything else to buy in this game?
chests, items. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, so money means nothing at this point. Might need some elixirs. All right, that feels good. Kind of nice that they gave you that shop right at the end of the game to be like, "All right, get some stuff." Your cozy or your chaos level went down, Emmy. We're just gonna escape. I don't wanna fight. I just wanna get to the dungeon. We already did grinding. Yet another bot. The Sari bot. And I wanna actually, I forget, just change your weapon. That puts your intellect up by 10. Anything else that gives you intellect? Alright, we're gonna give you that. That's right, okay. And we gotta go down to this cave. Thirty-five percent for you, Blood Hunter. <laughs> it's rude. Well, check your cozy. Maybe it's just you're being cozy today. Evidently, I'm not cozy. Ooh, Emmy, seventy-three percent cozy. All right, all right. 35% cozy. <laughs> it is being rude. I'm sorry. You're gonna bonk. This is his HP and status effect. Okay. Not the bots. We shall guide you to the core. Ready? All right. Listen to that music, y'all. It is so good. Alright, or I go anywhere. I need to pull up now. We need a map. Hello, kidding. I'm being told it's treat time by this lovely kitty cat. So I'm gonna go get her some treats. <laughs> I recommend y'all do the same for yourselves. Go get some treats. And we'll be right back to uh, explore this dungeon. This music is so good. 
All right, so we cheesing. We looking at a map. We know what we doing. Oh. We thought these in the bottom left. Take that. Because we want to go all the way down there to get that treasure chest. I'm loving that it's the same enemies, because I could kill these. No problem. I just wonder if I should put Edge in the back row, because he's so squishy. Oh, I can't. I can't have four in the back row. I could swap him with Kane, though, because Kane attempts to go up in the air. Let's swap. Put you in the back row, because you're a little baby. A baby who keeps getting hurt. No, it doesn't hit hard in the back row very well. Doesn't lower his defense much either to put him in the back row. I guess it's not worth it. Maybe that finally ups him. This will swap you back. There you go. Alright, so the next place I want to go is I think I want to go down there from when I was looking at the map. Hey, Dark Meow, shouldn't you be in school? What's up, buddy? Happy Friday. Um. <laughs> Did I call you out? I'm sorry, Dark Meow. <laughs> Dark Meow is not streaming, but we'll give him. We'll give him a shout out anyway. <laughs> Wait, Dark Meow? You were streaming Overwatch? What? Dark Meow, have you been streaming and didn't tell me? I was. Well, let a man know. My goodness. That's cool. Look at that chest just blinked into the ether over there. It's kind of funny. Alright, I need to look at my map. Where's my map? Map, map, map. I went into number two. So number two takes us here. So we're going to go get the D on the map. And then get the B up top. Ooh, another dad joke. Okay, okay. Now that a miner's entered the room, Emmy's like, let's talk about inappropriate stuff. Ooh. Oh, this is a fox one. This is so a fox one. Are you ready? I used to be into sadism, necrophilia, and bestiality. But then I realized I was just beating off a dead horse. Ha <laughs> ha 
That one's terrible. <laughs> Such a hot joke. <laughs> I only stream for my friend when he wants to watch me bad. Okay. Well, as long as you're having fun, Dark Neil, that's what matters. Bad jokes are fun. <laughs> I'm glad I bought a whole game of them. Flame whip. Yeah, right, yeah. Do you want to use that? May cause paralysis. Let's give her the flame whip. Why not? Let's see how she does with it. Not much different. <laughs> There's a wild gabite. Whatever that is. It's so funny to hear this music in this dungeon after playing Endwalker. <laughs> a dragon shield. Resistant to dragon attacks, fire, ice, and lightning? Heck yeah. Get it. You already have a Genji shield. Nobody else is using a shield. Can you use a shield while you've got a whip? No. Alright. So where are we going now? So we just went down in number five. So number five takes... Ooh, this is a big dungeon. Holy cow, it keeps going. <laughs> all right, all right. Focus, focus. So five is a dead end. Perfect. Oh no, five's not. Five takes you to seven. Five, there's three treasures here that we're going to get. So just go down and to the right. Okay. You're going to be a Lalafell? Are you using some Fantasia? Lalafell are cute. They are heckin' adorable. No, Dark Meow. Don't do it. I have an ult, too. I have a Lalafell ult. I plan to use it someday when we do uh, another hide and seek event at the FC. I figured a, a potato would be a little harder to find than a big femboy bunny. <laughs> you have a bunch of alts, I may have seen your login screen. <laughs> I think one of them isn't one of them Dr. Mommy Milkers. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna get these three boxes. A dragon helm. Distance to fire, ice, and lightning. Perfect. I take it we're gonna be fighting a dragon. They're giving us a bunch of anti dragon equipment. And there's a dragon. My bun boy is Busta. Busta Nut. <laughs> nice. I can't tell you the name of my ult, because it's gotta be a secret. Ooh, look at the XP that thing dropped. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. Dragon Mail. Um, Rosa, can you wear... You probably can't wear helmets. 
You need that defense, though, buddy. You suck. He doesn't suck. He's just not great. Who wants the defense? You're 78. 72. I'll give it to you. Dragon Buzz? Can Rosa wear those? No. Can you wear those? No. They're considered heavy armor, probably. Can you? Okay. I'll give it to you. Another dragon. Thank you for the experience. I want more of those, please. I like those enemies. It's kind of like the one dungeon where it was just a bunch of doors. <laughs> it was like free experience. Oops, I opened Chrome. Don't kill my stream, Chrome. Close. I don't want you. We want Firefox. All right, number seven. Take Shahir. And seven's going to take us to a treasure chest and over to number eight. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm looking at a map, but I have to. <laughs> this game's hard. Artemis era. Oh, I already have that. It dropped in the uh, Bahamut thing. Ooh. Silver dragons might not be as cozy. Or gold dragons. Ooh, he's got paralyzed. I don't like that. Rosa! Get it, girl! Where's your Asuna, girl? Where is it? to slow this battle speed down, evidently. Wow, that's a lot of experience. Okay, Cecil. Heal us back up, please. And we're gonna slow down. Looks like she's got an anti-dragon bow on. Really strong. An elixir? I'll take it. Alright, let's get the map again. So we're gonna go into number 10. Okay. 10 is pretty straightforward. She must have an anti-paralyze item on. You miss dragon. Get your mommy up here.
Ooh. Second rune. Alright, this is a little better and a little slow down. Some good damage from right here. Come on, Rosa, you can do this with your bow. Take it out. Yes! Got some ding. Oh, you're doing that. You're going this way. <laughs> Up game goes. The poor track dude just is gone. It was funny in Final Fantasy 3 because it was a job related one that you could just like jump into the air. <laughs> All of your characters as dragoons. Yep. Look at Cecil, he has 4k health. What a tank. you up, buddy. Come on, Rosa. Get your bow out. You got this. Well, that was rude, he got two attacks? How dare you. A white thing, I think that's just a consumable. Rosa will take you out. Oh, thank you for the biddies, Blood Hunter. An X potion. And more biddies. <laughs> All the biddies. Thank you. You just had 19 bits laying there. I know. They they they're they're a weird system. I wish it was a one-to-one -one, um thing, but it's not. That's a mother loving behemoth. Okay. Look at you go, Mr. Tang. You're a good guy. Thank you, Lady Gaga. Rain on me, tsunami.
me laugh, man. Thank you. Good experience. I just got a level. A Stardust Rod. Ooh. Cast Comet when used in battle. Intellect up by 15. All right. You convinced me. Let's try that. I wonder what that does. All right, you out of MP. Okay. So it's just like a sword chilling over there. It's weird. All right. So we went from 10 into 9. Wait, down to 11. So we can get pressure there, and then we're going to go into 16. Doesn't do a lot of damage, does it? Doom is rude. He's like a little boss. What the heck? How are you not dead? There it goes. Take this, I'll give you a dragon. Dragon meat dragon. 9999. Let's go, Rydia. Let's go. A crystal shield. Resistant to undead attacks? It has to be you. Okay. Alright, so we went down into 16. So 16 takes us to treasure N. And then we have an option of either number 17 or number 18. We want 17 first, and so we we'll go up, and then we go down. Descent to ice, fire, and lightning. Beautiful. Put that to Rosa. And those are Pillar Alice's resistance. Okay. You can't fall asleep. Oh! <gasps> 
Ooh. I did not want to do that. <laughs> oh my gold dragon. Oops. <laughs> well, that's one way to take care of your gold dragon problems. I wonder why his model is like tilted to the side like that. Kind of awkward looking, isn't it? Ooh, pain's level 60. Alright, we're probably gonna Bahamut our way out of this one. Crystal gloves. That's for you, I imagine. Yep. So there's actually a diversion in the path I was gonna say. Um I went seven. Oh no, where am I? Crystal Gloves. T. I'm at T. Went to 18. We want 17. The map's wrong. That's interesting. Yep, the map is backwards. Not this guy. Uh, got any exciting weekend plans? Uh, I know that this weekend is the Super Bowl, so they're are some friends that are hosting some parties that I got invited to, so that's an option. Um, but other than that, I don't have a whole lot planned. I've got some boring adult things I need to, to work on for my business. Um, so I've got to catch up on some of those things. But not a lot really planned. I'm I'm hoping we get to the nicer weather soon. I miss being able to go out and hike and stuff. A little bit of stream homework to work on. You got work off for the whole next week, so you're gonna be a lazy person. Nice. I like that. Yeah, I haven't planned any vacations. I gotta plan some vacations for this year. And Crystal Man. I assume I didn't get a Crystal Man. And if the map is backwards, y'all. 
Hopefully I can get some small stuff done for Twitch and stuff. Motivation's just hired. Yeah, there's always stuff to do for Twitch. <laughs> I know Saturday, um, I'll be joining Lana for the Duity Ghoulies. Ooh, what is this? 1200, vulnerable to lightning. Why did it just scan itself? That's sus. Why did you do that? It's like, you're gonna not like me. Is this the early version of a Tonberry? Huh. I'm confused. Hee <laughs> hee, I fooled you. I'll repay you twofold. Uh oh. Is this a Tonberry, y'all? Okay, it's dead. Well, it was scary. Uh, but I'll be joining Lana Saturday night for the Duetty Ghoulies. We've been watching uh, some Thai boy love drama shows that are really good. Oh. No, I want her paralyzed resisted. We'll keep her with what she's got on. Jump. Attack. Do, 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 do. I think I'm losing on my phone. I can just get off. Level sixty. Heck yeah. Ooh. We're just gonna go. This should be fine. What's that do? And we got a crystal home. All right, looking at my map. Where are we? We just got you, right? Crystal home. Yep. So twenty-two. I'm gonna take this down there. Okay. This is a huge dungeon. There, it's so big, it's got two save points in it. <laughs> and I feel like I missed half of the dungeon. So we'll definitely be porting out of here if we, uh, if we need to. Yes, you're dooming me. Bam. 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 I can take Doom. Doom's not so scary. I should kill it. Yep. Ooh, it dropped an elixir. Okay. Ooh, and I got a shuriken. Artemis arrow? I already have that. Ooh, three dark sages. I don't think these guys do anything too scary. 
They did have the toads that were annoying. In the, um... Uh, Sylph Dungeon. They were a pain in the butt. Is that a cottage? Ooh, a blue dragon. We need a row. There we go. Bye. If anything, this experience we're getting in this dungeon is great. Another Minerva Bustier. Can Rydia use it? Japan. Okay. There's a safe thing in here. Oh, this jerk. I don't know what he is, but he seems sus to me. Goodbye. Lightning on you, whatever you are. Is this a save? It is a save. Is that everybody's HP and MP? It is. Beautiful. All right, let's peek at this map again. So 27. This looks like it's the bottom, actually. Oh no, we can go to 29. This is the bottom. This takes us into the next part of the dungeon, which I don't want to go to to like clear the other half. So let's clear these two rooms. And then we'll port out and start again. Abadar of the Holy Land shall perish. Hold on, how do you cure that then? It missed? How to cure Doom in FF4. There's no way to heal Doom. You can cast slow, okay. 
All right. Oh, and he casts a face. You jerk. No. Slow must be a white magic thing. Fire, Faraga, Osmos, Hero, Fire. Yep, she does not have that spell. This is an annoying boss. It's dead. Phew! Got a holy lance. All right. But I'm assuming that goes to Kane. Yep. That's holy when used in battle. Wahoo! Yes, wahoo! Looks like there's another boss battle in here. By sacred force, we shall protect the ribbons. Ooh, ribbons are awesome. Oh, they're casting Reflect. You jerks. That player's gonna bounce off right on this, isn't it? This spell?
All right, one down. All right, is dead. Huzzah. Wheels. <laughs> Woo. That's scary. We got some ribbons. This into magic attacks for steal the salmons. Ooh, yes. We're gonna put that on. And then we can change that white robe. Beautiful. So I think that's it for this half of the map. The other half takes us down there. Right. So we need to port out. So, Rosa. She does a belly. Save our game. Oop. Ah. All right, back to the top. <laughs> so that's the way we went, right? We went down to two. So we're gonna go over to number one. Resistance has gone up a lot. Okay, right. so that took us here. That's a really cute emote. Like a little bear. Aww. Nobu Uematsu is the composer for Final Fantasy, at least the OG ones. And the genius. I have not been bored of this music this entire time. Of it's still a bop. It's your mood right now? Aww. I'm glad you're in that mood. I think it's like a fun mood to be in. Sage's staff. Who's a staff? Oh. Uh, Rosa probably could. 
Nah, we ain't about that. Rose is too powerful to give her a stat. <laughs> Oop, pick up. All right. Nothing over there. We're now down to number six. Could listen to all that? Yes. Part of my love of Final Fantasy is that just... Even one of the ones that people really don't like, Final Fantasy XIII, they can't say that the music is not fantastic, or the graphics are not beautiful. It's a wonderful game. I'm excited to get to 13. I never finished it. Part of my purpose of streaming is to hold myself accountable to really enjoying these deep, deep games. Cecil, my heel pop, my knight. The secret of this blade, I bring death. This isn't 14. No, it's Final Fantasy 4. Did I forget to change it? Oh, I totally forgot to change the category. Good, good hint. There we go. Fix that. <laughs> For all. I forgot to change it. Oh, hi. Oh, well, welcome back from your break, Sariba. Did you get some stuff accomplished? I'm just vibing to this soundtrack. Wheels. Laundry's in the dryer. Did your bedroom and bathroom? Yes. I too have some laundry in the dryer. I need to get that folded. Could have cast a float. That would invulnerate, um, make that uh, earthquake do nothing. Ooh, a mindful moment. Sure, we can do that. Try right, finish this boss battle. What we got? The Mara Marasame. I think it's supposed to say Masamune, but we'll go with it. All right, getting all this cool gear. Rosa, teleport these. I uh, can all agree that a warm blanket from the dryer must be wrapped around you immediately. Yes. Okay. Get our MP up. We'll do a mindful moment. I love mindful moments. They're so fun. All right. Dad joke done. Dad joke done. Dad joke done. Mindful moment done. Back. <laughs> so many Twitch point redemptions is true. <laughs> you feel weirdly more awake after that. Well, that's excellent. It just brought some focus. 
I saw you were playing that hit critically acclaimed game, Final Fantasy XIV. It did seem that way. We were earlier. We were getting our fashion on. And now we're fighting Final Fantasy IV. It'd be like that some days. But yeah, absolutely. This is my first playthrough of Final Fantasy IV. And I, I love this game. It's beautifully done. The story's great, the music, everything about it is gorgeous. I don't know if I liked the... Um... Alright, we back at the top. Where are we going? We went down to two. Two takes us to three or four. Oh! Where's three take you? Did I go into three? Where's three? Why don't I see three on this map? Hmm. We are in the final dungeon. We are progressing through the dungeon. Well, working our way through. Oh, three takes you there. Okay. So we're in the right track. We want to go up here and skip that because that just loops to that one area. Got it, got it, got it. I'm in the final dungeon. I made my way all the way to the bottom, but there was some stuff we missed, so we've got to figure out another path. Get there. Oops. It's like she's gonna summon Bahamut on this poor giant warrior. <laughs> How did Cross go? Didn't get to see it last night. Cross went great. We took down a couple dragons. We got Leah. Oh, that was rude. And the new character there. Um, got something else, I think. So we have two more dragons to defeat. And then after that, we're going to get Surge back. And then probably try to get the Masamune. All right, let's try this again. Attack. Yo. Attack. Attack. Jump. Did I trap their elements? Um, I got one of them. I got Carnivore, I think, from the green dragon. I did the green dragon, and I think I did the red dragon. I did not trap the red dragon elements. I did get all the plates, though. I stole the plates with Fargo. The guide told me to do that part. <laughs> it was fun playing as, um... Harsh. Harsh was cute. This little axe. Okay. So now we're down here. There's only one door we can take, so we gotta take it. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to get the rest of the equipment here. Uh, give Riddell the black plate and do the mini quest with her. I was thinking that since um, the boss is a black, it might be nice to, to have a little more power with the stars when we get Surge back after we finish all the dragons. I thought that might be a better, better journey. But we could try it with Lynx. We could. We could. All right, we're here. Where's Aiko? He's just an empty room. Yeah, it heals her, which is kind of poetic when you think about it. Bone Dragon. Zoop.
I do say that in terms of level organization, this game does a really good job of putting those save points right before those big boss battles. It is nice if they do that. This is just a bad angry. Dino zombie. strong we're getting. Right. And there's only one path to go here. Because there was definitely some items. Like there's that sword. How do you get that sword? Can I just walk over there? Blue dragon. Ooh, I don't like these guys. These guys are tough. Oops. I wanted her to use her thing. Hold on. That sword is super secret, huh? Bahumat, kill these fools. Oh, he's not dead! Good job! <laughs> I thought he was dead for sure. What did I miss? That sword is super secret. Got my friend into Stardew and it was chaos. <laughs> Called into the Nintendo Power Line back in the day to find out because internet in the night is- I know! I, I remember that, like, before the internet, we had to, like, call hotlines <laughs> to figure out things. Alright, let's look at this map I've got. So we came down... We came down here. Where is a number 12 on this map? 12 connects to 13? Where's 13? Where are you? I'm literally looking at a map, so if you have a hint, that's that's cool with me. <laughs> 13's over there. So 13 goes there. 14. 14's down there. 15's here. Oh, okay. I see it now. You have to go all the way down, and then there's like a secret stairway back up. So we've got to get down to 23. How cheeky. I see it now. Okay. So down from there. I see it. So you go down that stairway, over to the left, and then in the hole. You can't access it from this room. That's your hint. But yeah, I see it on the map. I see the path. I'll see the path. All right, going back to cleaning. Have fun. All right, have fun, Pharrell. Thanks for dropping in. Making sure I got what I needed in Chrono Cross. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go this way. So it was on this path. I just happened to miss it. Fine. I'm getting so strong in this dungeon. The one thing that I find funny is the map I'm looking at totally has these rooms backwards. Because this goes that way and that goes like that. 
Okay. Yep. Not yet. I'm gonna keep going down. Oh, I hate this guy. Also, why is there no cure to doom in Final Fantasy IV? It makes me nervous. I would think Asuna would take it down, but we don't. Is that almost 8,000 damage from a jump? Okay, get it. Bye-bye. We gotta keep going down. It's funny, I was watching um, some folks play Final Fantasy VI, the randomizer. I was trying out the Moogle's first seed of that game, uh, of the rando. And they went into South Figaro as they were racing, because they, you know, they know the game backwards and forwards. Hi, kitty. And they went into a basement in South Figaro. I was like, what? What is, I've never seen that in my entire life. The more you know. And I noticed in the pixel remaster, um, yeah, I see it. The arrow's right there. You gotta go across this bridge up down. I missed that. Um, that there's actually a doorway there in the pixel remaster where that basement is. So they kind of made it easier. <laughs> but I had never noticed that before. Rosa is so OP. She's got all the heals. She's got really great damage with a bow. She's amazing. Ooh, we got a shirt come from that dragon. I'll take it. Alright. So, now we've gotten there. Do we just need to go to that teleporter? Okay. Ooh, a golden apple. I think that gives HP, or is it HP? HP. I think that's right, yeah. I'd give it to Edge, but he just seems to take so much damage all the time. I don't think more HP will help him. Axe. Ooh, another blue dragon. Give me more shurikens, would you? Those will come in handy in the final boss. <laughs> Good guy, Cecil. He's such a cool character. Providing some cover. No one edges on the ground because he sucks. Soaking his damage for him. Monsters. I love it, you know. Great. Attack. Attack. Summon Hina, Bahamut, um, uh, 
Mega Player. At this. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Done for edge. Level up. Another protect ring. Give that to you. I'm feeling pretty confident in what I've had in the next few weeks. Just say. Super Secret Blade! Give me! Those stand by Zemus shall never bear this sword. Dark Bahamut. Ooh. The Mega Play right off the bat. Uh-oh. Thank you, Roger. Good uh, thing they put a save right there. That's rude. Extremely rude, sir. How dare. Use the power of your people right against you, buddy. Can I dispel that? Try. Oh, he just healed himself. You jerk. He's like, I see your Mega Flare and I raise you one Mega Flare. <laughs> well then. Interesting AI to counter Bahamut with Bahamut. Ooh, this could be it. Hi, Rosa.
And then there was just Rose Egg. Alright, apparently I can take players. I just can't use Bahamut. He counterattacks. Which is annoying. Rosa should be able to heal herself next round. You jump. Duraga yourself. All right, or Radia doesn't get this experience, but that's okay. That's okay. We got it. We got Ragnarok. I assume that's a Cecil weapon. Holy cow. Whoa, whoa. 238 okay so we defeated we defeated the dragon is there any more stuff can i use my sight 26 of 32 there's still a bunch more treasures to go but i think we got all the ones up here so what will we use after that battle, we'll use a cottage. That was a toughie. Thank you so much for the shout out. Wishing you a super duper wonderful stream. Anytime, Mimi. Anytime. All right, this guy's a jerk, but we can take him. He just casts Doom a lot, over and over and over. Not that scary. Not that scary. Especially with these weapons and stuff we're picking up. I didn't see how much damage Cecil was doing. Almost 5,000. Holy heck. He's a strong little paladin. Alright, so we just need to get back to the bottom. Was that the only save, or is there one at the very, very end? Nope, that's the last save in the game. Okay. Edge will always be my best boy. 
Yeah, I, rem I did get to the bottom once, and then I teleported out because I was like, how do I get that treasure? There's there's some treasure I'm missing. Wait, yeah. So now we're going back down. Oh yeah, across here. I gotta say, Edge isn't isn't giving me that vibe. I'm loving Rosa. Rose, I'm a Rosa stan. I think it's because Final Fantasy VI was my first, and it's my favorite. And so he he just gives me Edgar knockoff vibes, even though I know he came first. <laughs> I don't know why, he just does. Reminds me of Edgar, but not as cool. <laughs> Ooh, these guys are tough. Definitely need Bahamut for these guys. Summoning all the energy they drop a dragon whip. Ooh, that would be nice. I was grinding before I came into the lunar subterrain in um, the Bahamut lair, and they did drop an Artemis bow, which I found really helpful for Rosa. <laughs> It was literally the last fight before I exited the cave. <laughs> they dropped it. <laughs> it was fantastic. The Artemis bow is forever elusive to me. Oh, we don't want to summon it. Auto battle. Goodbye. Yeah, because I cleared both of these rooms out already. Alright, let me use the time. I don't know if I'm going to have time to finish this game. So let me peek at the map. So what comes next? More of those treasures? Could be easily doing about 30 to 40 minutes. I think I, I need to be done in about 30 minutes today so I have somewhere I've got to be by 3 30 Eastern so I think we're gonna try to get at least that treasure that first one that I see on the map I've heard some people complain whoa that was 99.99 what the heck Cecil absolutely I've heard a lot of people complain that the final boss in the Pixel Remaster version of 4 is really annoying. Ragnarok is a holy- ah, you're right. You're right. He must have crit though, because that wasn't 99. <laughs> oh, this is not bad. Never mind. That was awesome. And I think both Rydia and Rosa have ribbons on, so hopefully that protects them. Learn Meteor. You go, girl. Ringo's Burr when C99. I know! I got 99.99s from uh, the girlies when she did her bah Bahamut. Ooh, we got a music change. Wicked Mask? What does this do? Hello! Welcome in, Wolfie! Oh, I don't like that. You cast Reflect- How come I can't group Reflect? That's rude. This seems scary. It's 
not dying. Why are you not dying, buddy? Hello. I'm pretty sure this is boss music. Ooh. So you cast Reflect on me and then cast on other people? Interesting. Who's third, y'all? Oh, bye, Radia. Oh, she's not dead. Here, I'll give you Bahamut. Take that. Like two. Oh my god, it's Wild Ralph! Oh my god, Wolfie, how do you know all the good streamers? How goes Final Fantasy IV today? It's going fantastic. I love this game. We are in the final dungeon, in the final stretch. I don't think I have time to finish the game tonight, or today. Um, but we are so close. Oh, so close. Let's use some of these hot potions up. I'm trying to get at least these couple treasure chests out of the way. Also, that music. Have you heard this version in the Pixel Remaster? It's amazing. Absolutely stellar. Bramley found me through Twitter. Nice. Twitter is such a cool place. Sometimes. When people aren't fighting. <laughs> oh, it gets a little, a little ridiculous. Alright, Muhammad. Game. Jump. Attack. Attack. When people aren't fighting. So never. I know. Uh, what did I miss? I raided, was raided here by Alpha Daddy Pup, and it was like, my people, I'm home. I love Alpha Daddy Pup. They're so sweet. Great vibes. Great vibes. I do have a, uh, I'll just put a plug there. Do you have a Discord if y'all are interested in joining? If you haven't uh, been around my stream before, I guess I can give you my intro. I'm a Factor of Change, my pronouns are he, they. I'm mostly a cozy RPG streamer, love Final Fantasy. Part of what got me into streaming, here, I'll switch over here, is just really getting into uh, some of these old classic games. So the very first game I ever streamed was Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster in August, I think last year is when I started. And so my goal was like, you know, I've got all these games. I'm never going to hold myself accountable enough to play them. Maybe I should stream them. And so here I am uh, doing this. We're all the way up to four, almost finished with it. Uh, on Thursdays, I've been playing Chrono Cross, the uh, remaster of that game as well, with the goal of getting every single character on one save file. So it's going to take a few runs to get that to happen. We're still on our first run. And then on Wednesdays, uh, it's a bit of a variety. Sometimes I play some cozy games. Sometimes we play some challenges. I kind of like having a, a slot to just do whatever that day. I've had some ideas of maybe doing some Wellness Wednesdays and more like a podcast kind of format on those days. And then hopefully soon, once my friends get ready in uh, the next month or so, we're going to be doing an actual play 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons stream on Sundays where we're going to be playing through Strixhaven. Although I'm going to be changing a lot of this and flavoring it you know, as the Frog Pond Academy. So we're going to change it a little bit. Um, but it's mostly going to be a, a slice of life adventure, you know, taking tests, having homework, and going on little magical adventures in the school that we're going to be building together. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that'll be coming probably on Sundays. Maybe not every Sunday. It kind of depends on everybody's vibe. That's uh, some things to look forward to with my channel. Appreciate y'all sticking around. Uh, the other thing I, I will throw out there, there's no requirement to subscribe, obviously. 
But as a perk, just so you know, not only do you get the cute little emotes and ad free viewing on my Discord, as long as your Twitch and Discord accounts are connected, you will have access to the community campaign on dndbeyond.com. I currently own all of the licensed or all of the published materials for 5th edition D&D that are out as of right now. With all the controversy, I can't say I'm going to be purchasing anything moving forward until Wizard gets their stuff figured out. Um, but I do currently own all of the content. I purchased the final book last November. Um, so if you create a character in my community campaign, you will have access to all of the character creation tools and features that are currently published. So come on in. And we're going to block this person right here. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> Report your strengths. Yes. Thank you. That is a bot we don't want. Uh-oh. How do I close that? I think I broke my stream chat. Hold up. Can't close it. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, your journey starts. Ooh, you got a turret wig. Very nice. Very awesome back there. Glad I found my way here. Oh, the bots found you. Yeah, no, we don't want bots. No, thank you. He's pass holy. The heck? And Flare. This guy's a jerk. I hate him. Mega Flare. Thanks, Emmy. You know you're you're doing you must be doing pretty pretty good streaming. When you're getting some weird bots like that in your stream. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to try to get this. Oh, this is the Masamune, so it's the... Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. I don't know what this has to do. Tidal Wave, okay. Oh, it's Leviathan. Rain on me, Tsunami. It's Lady Gaga's evil twin sister. <laughs> they can see this, but I wanted to verbalize it. Oh, Emmy. <laughs> You're such a chaotic, chaotic monster. I love you. Oh my god, Leviathan in 14. Facts. Facts, won't they? <laughs> When I first started playing 14, I also struggled hard with um, uh, Titan. I kept falling off the arena because it's the first time that happened in the game and I just couldn't figure it out. And then I think um, our FC lead taught me to change my movement settings to a different kind. And then that seemed to, to fix the problem with the legacy type or something. But facts, Leviathan between the butt. Especially when he gets those um, debuffs on, and so magic attacks start reflecting damage. And it's like, which one do I hit? Do I hit the head? Do I hit the tail? I don't remember. <laughs> Rosa is amazing. She is the true hero of this adventure, in my opinion. Oop. Nice garage right in time. Got a 
Mega Player. Yes! We are the winners. We got the Masamune. Fantastic. I'm assuming that's an edge weapon. Got the Murasame and the Masamune. Ooh, that's haste and protect. Sweet. Alright, friends. I think this is where we're going to pause our journey. So let us go back to that cozy save point. Ooh. After we defeat this guy. Uh... Oh, thanks, Abby. Good timing. Yes. Let's pass that fella along. <laughs> oh, JT. Sorry, JT. <laughs> Let the chaos ensue. Stop jumping in the water. It's nice down there. It's so moist. Oh my. Dino zombie. Ninety nine ninety nine. You go, Cecil. That's beautiful to see. Okay. Here's another cottage. 